Welcome guys to the first episode of Node.js on Android. For that you need to application named Term UX and AWT. First of all open the Term UX application, you can install it from Play Store. Uh, first open it and type apt update. And after that apt install Node.js. I have installed it uh, earlier so you may so you can install it by typing apt install js it may take time maybe up to five minutes to install so don't worry about that now set up a project open awd create project set up the location i'm setting up sd card on node.js Click on save. Project name. Give it. Uh, getting started. No changes. Run SD card. Okay. Save it. No long. Tap on this. Create a file named server.js. Now this one. Now the code starts from here. First. Before that, we have to set up a JSON file in that directory. Uh, let's uh, change right to SD card. Change right to getting. Oh yeah, ls. Now you can see server the JS. Uh, type npm init init uh, wait uh, enter the project name you can write it's optional click enter oh no not so. uh, you can type it in node.js for the name description it's optional you can get uh, you can enter uh, anything or nothing else getting started with node.js entry points over the chess yes yes now enter your name okay now you can see a file named package of chess and files created that's the entry point now come on so the chess first we need to initialize and express and before that but before that, you have to extract a uh, module for the Node.js. You can download it from the description. I'm using Zarchiver to extract it. Uh, this file. This file is having much uh, Node.js modules. So extract in the root directory of your project. Uh, let's just extracting. It's having approximately 800 files. Let it be extracting. Nah, let's extract it. Then go to here. Now let's get started. First, initialize the variable app, which is for next express server. Express module. Variable app equal to require expre equals express. Express initialize app to be a function handler that you can supply to an HTTP server. Now initialize HTTP require HTTP dot server app. Now dot app dot cage this is a namespace uh, it, it's called we are defining a road handler slash that get called when we hit our server website home now function it is a callback function which is having two parameters request and response Uh, 
now we can response of index file response dot send file uh, directory name plus slash index dot index dot html now the last thing is we had to set up a port number http dot listen and port it's at zero at zero this is a callback function console.log server is running on port at zero at zero now it's all my code index.html file click on that uh, getting started to the body H2 hello world save it now we are ready to run our first node.js server let me see I add all correct I type node server dot js oh sorry um, line 10 shift sorry for that and as you can see this is running a port 8080 go to your chrome browser any browser you would like and enter the local host 8080 and hit enter night you can see it's written hello world now it's about all the first part we will wait in the second part for more node.js explanation and building a chat system using node.js and socket.io so bye guys meet you in the next episode so don't forget to like or subscribe